Yo, what up, yo? Your boy Mike back again. And today, um, a fucking series that I had on my channel before I deleted all my shit is making a return. And uh, I really enjoy doing this shit, so I had to do it again. You feel me? I had to fucking, you know, make have it make a return because I highly enjoy doing this. Um, I'm an angry, misanthropic motherfucker to begin with, and shit like this, you know, makes me get shit off my chest. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the annoying shit. <laughs> series, you know what I mean, and it's coming back, it's coming back, y'all, and remind, mind you, some of these topics might be, um, the same topics I had before, because, hey, uh, you know, that's what it is, it's, it's not on the channel anymore, so I might revisit some shit, you know what I mean, so people that haven't seen that shit can see this, and I want to start my channel over again, you know, fresh, so I want to bring old shit back that I did. I don't wanna want I don't wanna repeat everything, but I wanna bring it some shit back. Shit that I enjoyed. So here's annoying shit and this is part one. Um got seven topics here. So let's go. Let's get to it. Confused women. Now I've been dealing with this shit for a long time. Um, my luck with women, I'll keep it a buck, is not the greatest. Um, the longest relationship I've ever been in was five years. Um, you know, got fucked over in that one. A lot of fucked up shit happened. Personal shit. But, um, yeah, man. Women don't know whether to make up their mind what they want in life. Or what they want in a relationship. You know what I mean? Like you got your wifey type. You got the ride or die bitch. You know what I mean? That has your back through thick and thin. That holds you down. Is like your fucking other half. You know what I mean? That's the perfect woman for any man to have. That's what any man would want. Right? That shit is like trying to find a fucking pokeball or whatever the fuck. Now, for me anyway, nowadays, that shit's impossible. And, um, you know, you got shallow bitches, you got all kind of bitches, but confused women is, like, the worst. Like, they don't know what they want, you know? So, like I said, you got the wifey type, which, that's the perfect woman. Then you got chicks that, you know, you start dating. And, um try to establish something with, you know, you get close and then she hits you up and says, I'm sorry, but I'm getting back with my ex. It's like, what the fuck? It makes you scratch your head. Like, bitch, you was just trying to meet up and, and suck me off. And now you want to get back with your fucking man. You, your ex. Ah, it's fucking retarded. This is this shit that happened to me, too. Um, shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, one of the the worst though is the 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 fuck buddy. You know the woman that you know you're not in a relationship. She's not in a relationship. No strings attached. Fucking, you know you can fuck anytime. She's getting pleasure. Y'all getting pleasure. You feel me? Like you can call her up when you're fucking horny and she'll. Let you smash. Fucking, you know, that kind of, the fuck buddy. You fit, may smoke a blunt with her too, you know what I mean? Fucking shit like that. You ain't got to worry about buying the bitch shit. You ain't got to worry about taking her out and pressing her. She's cool, but then all of a sudden you'll get a call and, you know, you want to smash. And it's like, you know what? Um, I just don't want to put out anymore. I don't want to, um... Just give my body away for free like that. Like, bitch, you're not a prostitute. What do you mean good way for free? You know, you're just enjoying casual sex with, like, one nigga. You feel me? If that, hopefully. <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you mean you want to give your body away? So, you were just fucking me and sucking me off. And I want to be Mother Teresa within the fucking 
a month's time. Like, come on now. That, that is ridiculous. Like, that's what I don't get. Confused ass women. Hate it. Annoys the fuck out of me. So, I just killed that. Fuck all that shit. Like, if you want to be wifey type, be wifey type, ride or die for a nigga. You know, you want to be a fuck buddy, be a fuck boy. Don't change your mind and want to fucking be all fucking numb like and shit. Fuck out of here with that shit. So, next, my uh, niggas might kill me for this fucking. The hip hop purists might come down from the fucking heavens and um strike me down dead. But uh something that annoys me is the overrating of Jay Dilla. Um Jay Dilla no longer here with us, a tremendous producer. He is incredible, I will say that, okay? He produced amazing shit like Commons the Light. Um, keep it moving by a tribe called Quest. Get a hold by a, a track called Tra Quest, which is an amazing fucking track. Um, Far Side Running. On and on. He got a fucking catalog of amazing shit. Donuts, his instrumental album is great. Even though I'm not a big fan of instrumental albums, but there's some bangers on there. He is phenomenal, okay? He deserves all the accolades he gets and stuff, but. He is not a DJ Premier. Not even close. Not at all. He does not match up to Premier whatsoever. It's not even it shouldn't even be an argument. I'm sorry. He's not a Pete Rock. He's not an extra P. You know, he, he's not a large professor. He's not even a DJ Muggs. I'm sorry. He's not a Havoc. He's not an alchemist. I might get fucking butchered for this. DJ Quick and Aunt Banks will eat that nigga on, on the boards, man. I'm sorry. he He's not that godlike of a producer. R.I.P. No disrespect. But he's not even a beat miners. He's not up there for me. He's not even a fucking... I don't know, and fucking... He's not even a Q-tip. Q-tip is amazing, you know what I mean? And Q-tip and Dilla, they, they're, real, they're real close. He's just... I don't see him as that top-tier fucking producer for me. I'm, I'm sorry. And people will go nuts over that. Like, I got chewed out in 2010 or 11, somewhere around there. I'm kind of shaky with the year. Because in a forum, when I used to fuck with hip-hop forums, I don't anymore. I said that Dilla ain't even close to Primo, and I got ate up. You know, say he's better than Primo. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't know hip-hop because of that. You know what I mean? Stupid niggas, man. Stupid-ass niggas. He's just overrated as fuck. Okay? And like I said, I enjoy his production. The shit he did with Slum Village. All that shit is, is like... Timeless, man. It, he's great, but he's not better than the producers I named. Alchemist, a million times better than Dilla. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Jay Dilla is extremely overrated, and people just overrate the fuck out of that nigga, man. R.I.P. and all. Salute to one, you're a great producer, but he was not fucking with, not even close to DJ Premier. Or Pete Rock. Not even in the same sentence. I like Just Blaze better than Dilla. I know I'm going to get fucking ate by all the backpacking purists. But I don't give two fucks. So, there's that. Um, People asking rude questions in public. Uh, I, I, I can't stand this shit. It's happened to me numerous times. And the, react, the fucking answers and reaction they got. They didn't want, but hey, I don't give two fucks, you know. I'm a big nigga, okay? There's no hiding that. I'm big as fuck. You want to know what this shit is? Let me get to the story about this real quick. All right, it's like IV bruises. Fucking um, what happened? Fucking Thursday night, my left arm, the whole arm, started hurting like a motherfucker. 
and uh, a dude my size just taking a heart attack. You feel me? Um, and I called 911 with an ambulance. But um, turns out I got so many tests on me: EKG, CAT scan, um, all that shit, and nothing to do with my heart at all. You know what I mean? I had no chest pains, no breathing problems. It was just arm pain. You know what I mean? And that was from stress, um, because and my anxiety. I've been dealing with stress, stress and anxiety since I was like a little kid, and uh, it, it was it was that. And I'm going through a lot of drama right now, family beef. I'm, I'm putting it out there right now. And this is no nonsense channel. I don't give a fuck. You know, family drama and shit that was on my mind the whole time that day, and that's what contributed to the arm pain. But um, yeah, I'm looking to lose some weight. Get more in shape and stuff like that, but it's hard. I've been a fat nigga all my life, you feel me? And if someone has something funny to say about that, eat 20 dicks. I'll block your bitch ass. But yeah, I'll get there. So yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm out of the hospital. That was that was Thursday. I was there for a couple of hours, ran a test. I'm good. It was anxiety, you know, and stress that I've been dealing with. Nothing to do with my heart and all that. I'm, I was good, you know what I mean? That's why I was just explaining the fucking IV marks, because, you know, some people in a comment, well, fuck them to your arm, you know what I mean? But so, yeah, in public, I'll get some stupid shit. Like, it hasn't happened to me in a good 10 years, but uh, I'll be, like, in, in the mall or something, you know, um, just chilling somewhere obscure, like, just chilling, like, a parking lot, anywhere, right? And uh, I'll tell you, I'll give you, like, exclusive stories <laughs> um back in 2007 uh I, I, just, I just got a relationship with my ex that cheated on me after five years and i was crushed but i bounced back pretty fast i got a new girlfriend within what three four months of that and uh no hold on i'm bullshitting i, I got a new girlfriend within a month yeah, because I got, she broke up, well, I broke up with her. She did that shit to me in, in late 2007, which was November. And I got with this chick within a month, like December. Yeah, so I'm fucking bugging. I'm thinking about 2008, because this chick Amanda that I was with in 08. Like, I think about 08, 09, because it's the only years I was with her. But yeah, within a month, I, I got with this chick. It's been so long, brain kind of fucked. But, um, anyway, I'm going to see her, right? And, uh, in the building where, you, where I see this bitch, you got to sign in, like, one of the apartment complexes, you know what I mean? And I'm signing in, and got this bitch in a wheelchair saying, um, I hear her talking to somebody, like, I, I, I faintly hear her, I'm going to ask or something like that. So, like, excuse me, how much do you weigh? No, no shit. This is true. This old bitch, you know, got the oxygen shit in her, asking me how much do I fucking weigh. And for some reason, it in, it just infuriated me. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. It was 2007, like Christmas time. And uh, I said, what kind of fucking question is that? Yeah, How the fuck you get in that wheelchair, bitch? That's my exact fucking words. People might think that's harsh, but I give two fucks. And shout out to the nigga that was, you know, the security guard that, you know, lets people sign in. He's like, um, don't say that to him. That's some rude shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he could have yelled at me and threw me nigga out and yelling at a fucking elderly person. But I give two fucks. You know what I mean? And then um, one time, uh, I was at the bus terminal. This is years ago. I want to say this is high school days. And I'm smoking a black and mild cigar, which I don't do no more. Tobacco was fucking disgusting. Even though I smoke blunts till right now, I, I just hate the taste of tobacco. And you know, when you're smoking a blunt, you inhale on tobacco anyway. But yeah, fuck it. Um, I'm standing by the motherfucking um like the bus terminal booth. Like this booth you sit in over here, and um I'm smoking a black and mild and this old well not old, he's well middle aged man, forties I guess, I don't fucking know. He goes, Man, you like to eat, huh? I grabbed the nigga by the shirt and cussed him the fuck out. Like, I wasn't ready. I already to end that nigga right there. Like, I'm very sensitive about shit like that. I don't know. I just I just am. You can't help it. And, um, yeah, that pissed me the fuck off. You feel me? I want to murder that nigga right there. 
that really got to me. Or like, um, even one time, you know what I mean? Um, someone comes up to me and goes, um, what nationality are you? Are you, uh, Puerto Rican? You know, I'm like, nah, man. I'm, I'm black. You feel me? With a, with a dash of Portuguese. You know, my mom is black. My dad's black too, but he's mixed with a little Portuguese. I'm light skinned as fuck. And in person, I'm not this bright like you see on the camera. You know what I mean? I'm more of a kind of a tannish tone. But, um, yeah, man. That shit really fucking pissed me off. Because I'll tell you why. People say, why that piss you off? It sounds normal. No. I'm like, you know, it's like, come on, you're not black. Why the fuck you lying, man? You know, you, well, why you why you lying? You know, you, you Puerto Rican. This is a Puerto Rican dude saying this to me. Trying to argue me down about my own nationality. This is like 06. I want to say it's 2006 because um, that's the day that I bought SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 for the Xbox 360. And that came on 06. So, yeah, I want that has to be 06. That was the day I bought that. But yeah, man, that I, I had to argue with this Puerto Rican nigga about my own nationality. Then he's like, "Okay, yeah, I believe you." What the what? You know, and I think it's rude just to be trying to battle a nigga for what their own existence that what their nationality is. You feel me? This nigga was bugging. You know what I mean? That kind of uh, annoyed the fuck out of me. So yeah, people asking rude questions in public. Fuck off. You know what I mean? Next. Hip-hop heads will go on and on about mumble rap. Okay? That shit is far from annoying. You feel me? <sighs> Joe Budden's... Joe Budden <laughs> recently had... He has this amazing show I really like called Everyday Struggle with DJ Academics and some bad shorty. I forgot the bitch's name. But, um... They have a show and they were doing it live at the BET Awards and they were... Interviewing Migos, you know, a shit ass fucking rap group. They're fucking terrible. But, uh, and they were just acting all fucking conceited and arrogant and being stupid. Them niggas sound like field niggas, some coons. Set my people back a hundred years. Modern day menstrual show shit. I can't stand blacks that do that, make us look fucking retarded. And, uh, Joe Budden just got pissed, dropped the mic, and walked off. You know what I mean? And he said, you know, on that explaining it in the video on Everyday Struggle the next day, he's like, I don't give a fuck about these niggas. I don't care about these niggas. These niggas are non-existent to me. That's how I feel. I don't care about these niggas, B. Only way I heard about these niggas is on hip-hop blog sites. I do follow hip-hop DX and shit on Instagram and all that. So that's why I heard about them. I don't care about these niggas. Yeah, that trash. But niggas, hip hop heads that, that that you know love the '90s stuff and under that, they'll sit there all day and say fuck mumble rap all day long, making it life's mission to just like put it out that they hate mumble rap. I hate it too. All right, but I'm not sitting here that's making it like acting like hip hop is dead and they killed hip hop. Hip hop ain't popping. Hip hop might be fucked up mainstream wise, and, and you know, but yo, I stick my ear to the underground. You feel me? I'm but I mean, underground rappers are fucking garbage. Some of them, like you know, the the juggalo related rappers, them niggas is trash, and fucking other rappers that try to, you know, they're just terrible. But for the most part, I got my ear. You get a fine shit, you know what I mean? So while y'all complaining about Young Thug and Little Uzi Vert and those faggots. I'm bumping Westside Gun and Conway and Benny, Griselda Wreckage, nigga. I'm bumping Husk Kingpin and Smooth. I'm bumping Rock Marciano. I'm bumping Mayhem Loren, Action Bronson. I'm bumping motherfucking dope shit like that. I'm, I'm bumping fucking Sky Zoo and Planet Asia, the Durag Dynasty crew. I'm bumping shit like that. And I'm bumping all my 90s, early 2000s stuff as well. So... These niggas don't bother me. I don't listen to the radio. I haven't bumped. This is the truth. I haven't listened unless I'm in someone's car, but I got, you know, on ways of transportation. Um, I'm bumping that shit. I'm not bumping the radio. You feel me? The last time I listened to the radio was in 2007. Truth. 
And why I listened to the radio back then? I'll tell you why. Because um, Jamie 94.5, no New England shit, for, you know, Massachusetts shit. Jamie 94.5 and, and um, High 97, we had it over here in the Boston area when I used to get it. They had a, an hour of nothing but grimy hood shit they would play. And I love that shit. Like every Sunday night, um, Jamie 94.5, it's something called the launch pad. And that's all they would play. And then Han on 7 would play that gully shit all night. So it was like listening to your CD collection, basically. <laughs> and mixtape tracks and all that. It was popping, you know what I mean? Back in like the early 2000s, late 90s, mid 90s. That's when I listened to the radio, you know? Now, no. I, so I don't hear these clown ass niggas, you feel me? Instead of bitching about how much you hate Young Thug and mumble rap, pick up West Side Gun Fly God. Pick up Conway Rejects 2. Pick up Hus King Pin and Big Ghost, Cocaine Beach. Pick up Smooth. Smoother since 96J. Then come all that. That, that hip hop is very much alive. Fuck all these mobile rappers. Like, stop bitching about it, nigga. So, I just can't stand that shit. Alright? Next. <sighs> Posers in hip hop. There's two kind of poses in hip hop. Okay? There's poses where they'll pretend to like something to be cool. You feel me? And they don't know shit about it. That's like the main poser. But the poser that sk that pisses me off the most is a, is a nigga that acts like they hate something that's not popular in the underground elitist backpacker world. But they really like it. You feel me? Like, that shit is just stupid as fuck. You know what I mean? And just blatantly lying about things. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a fucking... I, I hate No Limit Records. You know what I mean? That's trash. I hate it. Imagine that. You know, someone saying that. Then they'll just be like... Oh, I, 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 I love No Limit when they're, like, away from that zone where you might be judged and you like really admit you like it that is and y'all grown man doing shit like that y'all niggas is fucking stupid you know pretending like your homeboys bought you something but you really bought the album but you don't want your underground elitist fans to friends to know that is just ridiculously stupid that is poser beyond fucking belief be you this shit I like that people despise, my nigga. Do I care? Fuck no, nigga. I like Kid Rock. Okay? And I'm talking about Kid Rock from 1992 to 2000. Okay? Not the country fag shit. I like Kid Rock. Do I give a fuck if people hate him? No. Do I care if someone say, you're not a hip-hop head because you like Kid Rock. No, nah, nigga, fuck you. I love Insane Clown Posse and Psychopathic Records. People fucking made sense about that. I don't care. You feel me? Like, the shit that I hate, I mean, the shit that I love that other people hate, but I'm not gonna pretend I hate it while around them to appease them. That's like some fucking little girl schoolyard faggot shit. Y'all niggas is corny for doing that. So posers can eat 20 dicks. No posers allowed, nigga. Next. Hip-hop elitist. I just got through dealing with one of these fuckboy niggas. I, I, I hate hip-hop elitist, man. It's It grinds my motherfucking gears, man. You know what I mean? Saying if you don't like a certain type of uh, of album, you're not a hip hop head. If you're not checking out this album, you're not a hip hop head. You know that's better than that. My hip hop taste is better than your taste. Now this happens in all genres of music. You know, what I mean, heavy metal, you know, metal in general, being one of the worst. But hip hop over the years, I noticed the internet era, it is absolutely horrendous. It is bad, and. It's at an all-time high, in my opinion, man. You know, Kendrick Lamar isn't already the rugged man, so he ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like, 
you don't have to like Kendrick either, but like, don't be hating on people that like him. You know what I'm saying? They're not real hip hop heads. It's just, it's so just elitism, elitism at its finest. You know what I mean? Um, Jay Z is fucking Illuminati and shit. He's overrated, and you can have that opinion about him being overrated. You know what I mean? But say he's Illuminati and he's not touching on your hip hop artist. And if you like Jay Z better than this and that, you're not a real hip hop. Yeah, I, I, this ain't shit. I'm. This is shit I seen. Okay, not. I'm making this shit up. This is shit I seen. You know what I mean? This hip hop elite is not terrible. Like if you don't listen to what they listen to, you're not a real head. Eat 20 cocks, my nigga, and call me in the morning, faggot. I hate niggas like that. Like what you like, my nigga. Fuck out of here. Number one. This is the number one shit, and then I'm going to wrap it up, man. When, when fucking internet rappers compare themselves to hip-hop greats, I would say rappers and producers want to be producers. You call a fucking an app, a pro you're a producer now, right? Fuck out of here. I seen niggas. I had an Instagram message the other day, but I deleted the shit. It pissed me off so bad. So, some nigga was like, you need, because I, I, I post, go to my Instagram page, Big Mike 85 one That's Big Mike 85 one I post my extensive, massive collection of hip hop records. And, you know, people like it. They fuck with it, but I got some message, dude, dude was like, you need to mention me in the same breath as the greats you post. And I checked this nigga's fucking shit, and it's some swag faggery. Fuck out of here, nigga. That is so disrespectful. You got other niggas putting that, that shitty albums they recorded with a fucking karaoke mic up against classics like Ready to Die, Reasonable out, Illmatic, hard to earn. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You got these shitty producers that produced on a fucking app, a B app, and just pick certain shit and put it together. Ain't you no fucking producer, nigga. That's why I love Riz's intro on the 1997 masterpiece, Wu Tang Forever. The intro on this too, when he talked about. You cat in the hat ass rappers. You can't do this shit overnight. That's what it applies to you fuckboy niggas. You cannot tell me that your production and rhymes and wordplay and fucking shit you got going is better than fucking that. The, the shit that everybody knows. Put it this way, okay? A lot of y'all niggas don't know this. I used to rap, okay? I, I started in 2000, ended around 05 ish. I don't do this shit no more. I lost passion. And I was pretty fucking good. Okay? I recorded something. And if I could find the fucking CD, I will rip it and upload it. Okay? I, I need to find this. And what sucks is... It was, it was a pink CD, Memorex CD. And I probably give it to my nigga Ray. But that nigga's doing a bid. I just found out recently. So I hope I didn't give it to that nigga. But I, it's somewhere around here. But, um, if I do find it, I'll upload it for y'all, okay? But, you know, I was never like that. I was never like, I'm I'm up there with Nas and Big and just making a mockery of fucking these legends, comparing your shitty work that you recorded on a fucking Walmart mic, my nigga. Fuck you. You're a fucking no-talented loser. You're not better than Big or up there with Big and Jay and Nas and fucking... Talib and most deaf and whatever the fuck else you want to compare yourself to. Nigga, you trash. <laughs> don't compare yourself to fucking legends, you dumb fuckers. I hate that shit. Those for you fucking producers that got an app and you shitty rappers that can't even put a word together to save your life. Putting yourself in the same category as fucking legends. Kill yourself. So, annoying shit part one has been finished. I see y'all niggas on the flip side for part two. Peace.